Hello everybody, I'm Captain Mamgen. I left uh, you with the corrections to gyro. Let us talk about the second type of compass, what we use out at is your magnetic compass. The true north and south is where the axis meets the earth. Then a freely suspended magnet which is influenced only by the earth's magnetism is placed on the earth magnetism. We know that it comes to rest pointing towards magnetic north and south. The position of magnetic north and magnetic south are not the same as the geographical poles. They are not the same as the north and south. They are in different direction. Only for explanation part of it, though it is not the correct position of uh, magnetic north, I place magnetic north here. If there was an observer on this meridian, magnetic north is to the west of the, of the observer. For another observer on another meridian, you can see that the magnetic north is to the east. So the position of magnetic north is depending upon the position you are in. Now we talked about that the meridians are the true direction for true north and south. And this is the plane of the semi great circle. Being a great circle, it will pass through the center of the earth. The, the plane will pass through the center of the earth. So this plane also would be pointing north and south. Like when we talked about the meridians, the meridians join the north and south pole, they are semi great circle. Like them, magnetic meridians are also semi great circles which are joining the two magnetic poles, the semi great circles. And magnetic meridians. Are the true direction for magnetic north and south. They always point towards magnetic north and magnetic south like the meridians on the earth which are pointing towards true north and true south. So when you suspend a magnet influenced only by earth's surface it will be pointing towards the magnetic north. So your magnetic meridian is the direction for magnetic north and south. And this being a great circle, semi-great circle, this plane also would be passing through the center of the earth. So this is I am showing you the plane. So that means the plane is also pointing towards magnetic north and south. Magnetic north and magnetic south. The angle between magnetic north, magnetic compass here and the true, true, true was pointing here, magnetic. The angle between true and magnetic the difference between them is called variation. Variation. You need to define it between geographical meridian and magnetic meridian. The angle between them. Now variation is named either east or west depending upon where your magnetic north is in with true north. Now here you can see that it is to the east of the true north, so variation is east. If it was to the west, variation would be called west. And you can see that if I had to convert magnetic readings to true, I would have to make use of variation. If you are going from A to B, and with the true north, your angle, what it is being made, is 0, 8, 0. You can see 0, 8, 0 here. That's your true course. Now, the same thing if it was being read with the magnetic, it would read a different reading. And here you can see it is reading 0, 9, 0. So that would be your magnetic course. Magnetic course is measured from magnetic north to the ship's head. And the angle is 90 degrees.
Now there is a difference of 10 degrees between magnetic and compass which you can see here true north and magnetic north there is a difference of about 10 degrees here. This difference or this angle between true and magnetic is called the variation. This is the variation. Now it will depend the direction of it will depend where the magnetic north is placed in relation to true north. Now here magnetic north is to the west of true north so we call this variation to be west 10 degrees west. As I remember it how to do it if I had a magnetic value and true value I can't be drawing this diagram anytime. So I remember it like this Compass best, error west. The compass is more error. That's the difference between these two. The error between magnetic and the true is variation is west. And you name it west. I'm just showing you on the other side, east side now. Now if you see that reading of the magnetic is 070. This is your magnetic course 070. And you can see that the difference between both of them is 10 degrees here. <coughs> and magnetic north is to east of true north. So variation will be 10 degrees east. And as I said, I remember it compass least, error east. So you can see that the compass is less than the true, the error that is variation should be east, 10 degrees east. So now if I know my true and magnetic, can I find out my variation? The compass least, error east. My magnetic two. Compass least, error east. Twenty degrees east. If I know two and variation, can I find out my magnetic? Two variation. Error east, compass should be least. Compass would be least. 0 to 0. East, least, 0 to 0. Similarly, if I knew magnetic and variation, I can find out true. Magnetic compass 20, variation 20 east. Compass least error east. So compass has to be less, true would be more. True is 0, 4, 0. So if you know any two of these values, you can always find out the third one. Now I'll just show you on the west side. The other way I remember it is compass best is error west. So true is 0, 4, 0. Now Compass is 0, 5, 3. So for this magnetic, we always write down M. For true, we write down three, uh, T. Compass is best. Error should be best. So error will be 13 degrees best. Error is 13 degrees best. 240. Variation 13. Error is best. So compass should be best. So compass is going to be more than the true 053 magnetic. Similarly, I know the variation. I know the true. Variation west. Compass should be best. So compass is 053. 
So as long as you remember this, there should be no problems about how to go about calculating it. So, least, east, west, west. The position of these magnetic poles is not constant. It keeps on changing. What I showed you just now, that is not constant. It is changing every time. The value of variation will not be constant. It will change with position as I showed you that the if you are on the east or if you are on the west, the thing changes. And if the poles change, then definitely again the value of variation would change. The variation can be found out on a chart. It is marked on the compass rows on your chart, which are there in two places on your chart. And with whatever is the yearly change, the variation is written down there. Admiralty also issues some charts which show variations and are joined by curves of equal uh, variation. These curves are called isogonomic lines. And of course, this is not the proper chart, but you will see that the charts are made like this. The curves joining places with same variation. So some charts are issued by the Admiralty. You can consult to know what is your variation. So the important thing here to remember that the variation changes with position. If your position changes, variation changes. For you, just uh, a little question here. Here at the North Pole, a magnetic bearing of magnetic pole, two bearing of magnetic pole, and what is the variation? Just think about it. I'll meet you next. The compass, and this magnetic compass is placed on board. What is the error of this magnetic compass being placed on board? Till then, this is the answer to your question there. You can think about it. Till I meet you next. Thank you very much.